Hey there, thanks for joining us for our next episode of Take 5. Today we're going to be kind of broaching the uncomfortable topic of how we show love and how we pray for those who may not like us very much or may hate us or whatever it may be. If someone would be considered an enemy of ours, how do we treat them? Today's episode is going to be titled, I Love My Neighbor, Isn't That Enough? And we're going to talk about the difficult um, ways that we have to kind of get over our pride and how we can show those people love and how we can pray for them even if they don't like us or we don't agree with them or whatever it may be. So get ready to tackle that topic. We're going to be in Matthew 5 again today. And on today's episode of Take 5, we're going to talk about loving our enemies. Yeah, well, thanks again for joining us, friends, family, church family. I'm excited to be here again for another episode of Take 5. And again, today's episode is titled, I Love My Neighbor. Isn't that enough? We're going to be looking in Matthew 5, verses 43 through 48. And we're going to be kind of just broaching that difficult subject. It's, it's kind of awkward. It's uncomfortable because we have to think about, well, it's not as easy to, to love people that are kind of our enemy, right? Or that we don't agree with or that hate us or are against us in some fashion. And it, but it's so important that we look at the words of Jesus to figure out how we can best walk forward in our faith to show others love. So let's go ahead and pray and read today. And then we'll talk about that for a minute. Lord, thank you for your word. Thank you that you speak to us that you give us wisdom and truth, even if it's a hard truth to swallow at times. And help us, God, to desire that for our lives so that we can live for you, Jesus. May you be glorified and may you continue to help us to learn, grow, and go as we take five today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, Matthew 5, starting in verse 43, says, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your father who is in heaven. For he causes his son, S-U-N, to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? If you greet only your brothers, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Therefore, you are to be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. So kind of right out of the gates here, we see Jesus calling us to rise above kind of what was the social norm. It was kind of accepted and expected that, yeah, we love our neighbors, but hey, hate your enemy, you know, they're not good for anything. They're coming after you. So why would you want to love them? Well, we see here because there's not anything that we can really gain that we don't already have with loving our neighbors only, right? Because we're taking care of each other and that's good. He's not saying don't love them, but he's saying that, you know, you already love your neighbor. And if you're only loving those who love you, where's your reward? What are you doing to help benefit the lives of others, right? And so it's so important that we kind of eat humble pie and, and just kind of swallow our pride and think about how can I love my enemies and pray for those who persecute me. And now, persecution and, and enemies can probably mean a lot of different things. Uh, we're not necessarily always being under persecution. There is persecution that certainly happens. Um, and, and if we don't have that much of it, then great. But there are still people that God is calling us to love that we may not want to. Let me say that again. God might be calling you to love somebody and pray for somebody that you don't feel like it. Because you're like, well, why would I pray for them? Because they treated me like this or they did this to me. But 
when we look at what Jesus teaches us here, he's saying that doesn't matter. I want you to love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. How do we do that? <laughs> One step at a time. It's not easy. And that's why Jesus brings it up here because it's so important that we have to kind of think of that because everything in society says, well, no, if someone is against you, then, then you're against them, right? No, pray for them right where they're at. If someone's wronged you or if someone persecutes you or if someone hates you, pray for them. Find ways to love them, even though it's hard and that's okay. You have to kind of dig deeper and think of, what is it that's causing them to treat me this way? If it's something that we've done, then, then let's try to write that if there is something we can write. But furthermore, let's show them love. That regardless of how we are being treated, let's love and pray for them. Because there is power in that. And I need you to believe that. Because God wants you to believe that. And it can change your life and change others' lives. I believe that kindness, that love, that that non-judgmental approach to, because they're probably expecting, well, I've treated them like this, so why would they do anything nice for me? I believe that will just kind of cut through that and break down those walls. So let's believe in that church as we take five, go take five on your own now, pray through this. Say, God, how can I love those who hate me and pray for those who come against me? So Lord, help us to do just that. Help us to love our enemies. Help us to reciprocate the love you've given us that you have shown us when we were sinners and help us to show that to others who are coming against us with hatred as being our enemies and persecuting us because God I believe and I know according to your word that you will use that to break down those barriers and and change lives even if theirs aren't changed God we will be walking in the obedience and the faith that you've called us to as your followers I give you praise for that and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks again for joining us on this episode of Take 5. Follow our Facebook page. Follow our Instagram. We'll have these videos every week. God bless.